Hello, my name is Robert and today I'm going to show you how to use the displacement modifier and also how it works. So if we go into Blender and make a new scene, well first of all we are going to delete everything we have and if we press Shift A, uh, we want to create a plane. We want to scale it up using the S key and if we go into edit mode, we want to subdivide this quite a few times. This is more than enough and if we go into the modifiers tab under the form we want to uh, choose this place so as you can see it already made something kind of weird it moved this up and to change this we can use the mid-level setting although you probably don't want to touch this until you use a texture okay and basically a displacement modifier uh, uses a texture to uh, basically tell the mesh where each uh, vertice will be placed okay so you probably want to use obviously a texture that has a um, that looks like a square instead of a rectangle so if we press uh, new and go into texture we can use all kinds of we have some presets we can use for example blend and as you can see it starts black and it goes white and this is not something very useful something that's actually quite useful is clouds as you can see it looks pretty cool and you pr we probably want to lower the strength quite a bit we're going to oh not minus one but 0 0.1 we kind of have like a pretty simple terrain going on maybe you could use this i don't know to like showcase a grass particle or something like that you can also lower the strength, the, I mean, and make it higher. And actually, if we make this smooth, it will look pretty nice. So, if we go back into the texture area, we can also choose distorted noise, which is also pretty cool. It kind of gives a, sort of the same effect, but kind of in, like in a different way. And you can use Voronoi or cell noise, anything and see what you like okay so you can also use an image which i'll go over that later you can also use magic which is just kind of weird kind of makes kind of like dunes looking thing which is kind of nice you can also use marvel which i honestly don't really see the use for musgrave I hope i pronounced that right which is actually quite interesting it looks like uh pixely pretty cool there's also things like noise which is pretty useful as well ocean point density stuxy is actually kind of like the, uh, the other one uh, the, with the musgrave there's also voronoi which is pretty nice it's kind of like carving into that uh, plane which is pretty cool also wood and all that fun stuff so if we actually go into the image or movie and actually first of all i'm actually for this tutorial i'm going to use a height map so if you go to google maps you want to download a height map it doesn't really matter which one you use it's basically an image that's black and white uh, the white area will have uh, its vertices higher and the black area, the darker areas will be lower to create sort of like a terrain which is what they're used for. You can also use a texture or something like that for this tutorial. So I want you to press open and if we go into, I actually saved this into my desktop, I want you to select height map which is this, as you can see, a white and black texture. And if we open the image, and uh, actually, let's make this higher so we can actually see what's going on. And as you can see, it kind of looks like we have sort of a terrain, uh, terrain, some mountains over here and kind of like some pretty cool valleys going on. And I will recommend to add a subdivision surface after that. And maybe if we even want more definition, and to add another subdivide and as you can see that even that looks much nicer so i really hope this video was useful if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos make sure to comment down below thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye